Mickey Munchies and I surprised Emma Bites with a trip to Williams, Arizona to take a ride on the Polar Express. Time to take a ride on the magical Polar Express. Mine's kind of weak. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's better. So what can I do for you, kid? I heard you were the owner of this trip. Yeah, that's right, kid. I'm the owner of this here Rattler. Owner of the Polar Express. King of the Polar X. In fact, I'm king of the North Pole. North Pole? I thought Santa was king of the North Pole. You mean this guy? <laughs> so what is your persuasion of the big guy now that you brought him up? Well, well I want to believe, but I, 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 I... Let I, me I, ask you this. Can you hear this? How about you people out there? Can you hear this? No! Nothing? That's because you're a doubter. It's all humbug, right? You don't want to be bamboozled or conned or duped. You're cautious. You don't want to be suckered or hoodwinked. Let down that primrose path. Have the world pulled over your eyes. You don't want to be railroaded, do you? See it as believing. Am I right? Of course I'm right. But you know, kid, some of the most real things in this world are things that you can't see or hear. And what I've been hearing about, kid, these golden tickets. You got one? Let me see you. Yeah. Yeah, how about you people out there? You got any of these golden tickets? Yeah. Hold them up high so as I can see them. Yeah. I got mine. Those look like real, authentic, genuine tickets to ride. Maybe you believe, maybe you don't. But these golden tickets is your pass to adventure on the Pole X. I'd keep that somewhere safe if I was you. Me? I put all my valuables in the good old ten and a half. Spirit shows that's the safest place. I, I hear the train every go. Hey, kid, do you believe in ghosts? No. Interesting. Hello? Hello? Where'd he go? Hello? Well, are you coming? Where? Why? To the North Pole, of course. This is the Polar Express. North, North Hold this, please. It says here, no picture with the department store with Santa this year. No letter to Santa this year. And you made your sister put out the cookies and milk? Mm -mm. This is going to be your crucial year. Well, come on, come on. I've got a schedule to keep. I've got all day. Well, boys and girls, would you like a ride to the North Pole? Yeah! I'm sorry, I must have had a little bit of reindeer fluff in my ear. I say, boys and girls, you want to ride to the North Pole? Yes! Yes, please. Yes, please. There we go. Okay, get your tickets out, give them to the attendant, and we will punch them on board. <laughs> oh, Hop aboard for a mystical journey to the North Pole. Chef Val. Can everyone say hi, Chef Val? Hi, Chef Val. And I would love to know all of your guys' names on the count of three. Can we do that? Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. The wonderful winter journey takes about 90 minutes to and from the North Pole. There's loads of singing and dancing. And scrumptious hot chocolate and cookies. Ready. 
and the story of the Polar Express is read aloud to everyone on the train. Someone can't wait to get to the North Pole. Let's sing some Christmas carols while we wait for Santa. Santa gave one of his magical sleigh bells to everyone on the train, even the non-believers. What do you mean by that? How could you not be a believer after meeting Santa Claus? How cool was that? You got a hug from Santa Claus, Emma Bites.